Hi, this is Robin Sampson with HeartOfWisdom.com and BibleJournalLove.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Bible journal page using digital methods on your computer. We'll be using Photoshop or Photoshop Elements and the verse in Jonah 2.2. Let's get started. Before I show you how to create the page, I need you to know that I made my page 5.5 inches by 8.5 inches to fit into my interleaved Bible. Every other page is blank. And this is it. See the link in the video description to find out more about the Interleaf Bible. You don't need to use this Bible. I just wanted you to understand why I'm making the page at these dimensions. You can always make it 8.5 by 11 for framing or another size for another type Bible. I'm working in Photoshop. You can use the same steps in Photoshop Elements. Here I'm browsing my image stash for nautical images. I'll start with a light blue watercolor back background. Resize images by dragging the corners. Hold down the shift key to keep the dragging to keep the proportions. Here I decided to use another color, another watercolor background to blend it over this one. So I go to the blend modes and change it to multiply and I like that look. So now I go on and find the, the main image, the whale and that I'm not going to blend him because I want him to stay the same color on top. But if you were doing this on a Bible page, you could blend him to multiply and the words would show through. Now I'll put a water spout and I'm going to go ahead and multiply the water spout blend mode to give it more of a darker look. A good thing to do at this point would be to lock your background images so they don't scoot off the page. Um, I don't always do that, but that, that's a better thing to do if you're a beginner. If You can find out all everything you need to know about Photoshop Elements by taking a basic class on Photoshop Elements from BibleJournalLove.com. It's on the top of the page. It says Digital Classes. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the um, Bible verse. Here I used a Bible verse that's already in this little kit, but you, you don't have to use um, images from a kit to write a Bible verse. You can just text it into another layer and then use whatever font you want, whatever Bible verse, uh, whatever Bible translation that you like the best, and play around with the um, fonts and find out what works for you. Now I'm just going to add a few embellishments Remember, if you want to resize the embellishments, you just drag the corner and hold the shift key so that you don't lose your proportions. I'm adding more watercolor images and changing some of the blend modes. You do not add drop shadows to watercolor images because in real life they don't have a drop shadow. Uh, you don't add drop shadows to text because in real life text doesn't have a drop shadow. That seems to be a common beginner's mistake is to add drop shadows to all layers when all layers don't need drop shadows. So these uh, little fishes I can hit control J to duplicate them and that's one way that you get a lot out of digital is all you have to do is, is hit a few buttons and you've duplicated and you can use the same flower, fish, or whatever element over and over again. Now I'm going to add the washi tape. Now washi has a tiny, tiny drop shadow. It's supposed to lay flat, but it doesn't lay completely flat because it is a layer. So I add a tiny drop shadow, and then once I add, decide what drop shadow I'm going to use for this washi, I will add to all the washi tapes. I'm dragging and dropping in one at a time. You can drag and drop several images at a time. Sometimes I do that too. It's up to you. You can also select all the washi tape at the very end and add each, add all the drop shadows at one time. You don't have to add them each individually over and over. Something I did wrong here was I did not save this project. The most important thing that you should do when you start your Bible journal page as soon as you get one layer down is to stop and name it and save it. 
I always name mine Bible journaling, and then with the verse, this one would be Jonah 2.2. You can't use a colon when you save, but you can use the period to differentiate the chapter and verse. So I call it Bible journaling Jonah 2.2. That way, if I want to find it later, it'll be easy to find it uh, using my search on my computer. And there's a little seahorse. They're tiny. And here's some more washi tape. Now, because I'm going to be washi taping this page into my interleaved Bible, I will also use more washi tape. So I think it gives it even a better look to have. You can't tell after it's taped down which, which ones are digital and which ones are um, real. So I'm just going to add a, a little bit more washi tape, and we're just about done with this page. And do you believe we've made an entire Bible journaling page with less than 10 minutes? Here I'm adding, this is kind of a gesso that's got a little bit of watercolor paint on it, and I'm going to put that behind the text just to make it stand out a little bit more. And I'm going to try several different blend modes to see which ones I like the best. First, I pulled that to the bottom. See all the different layers I've been building? Well, when something's on the bottom, it's on the bottom layer, just like if it was on your desktop, that if you had a stack of papers. One would be on the top and one would be on the bottom. And to, get, to see the one on the top, you'd have to pull it to the top. So here the text is on the very top. There's a little watercolor color painted heart. Again, no drop shadow. But I will probably multiply it. Color burn. Color burn gives it a darker effect. Almost any of the blend modes, though, once you put a blend mode on it, you can see through it. Now here I just wanted to show you that if you were doing this on a Bible page, and I have a Bible page template at DigiScrap Delight's Etsy shop, you can put the Bible text with from any version, go to Bible Gateway, and there's about 20 versions to choose from, and then drag and drop it to the top, and you can see all the way through the watercolor, you can see every word. I just wanted you to know that you could do that if you wanted to. So here now I'm just going to print and tape it into my Bible. And here, this is a, a photograph of my Bible with this in it. And I wanted to show you, you can correct photographs in Photoshop elements to make them lighter. So I see a lot of pictures that are on the internet of, uh, on Pinterest for Bible journaling pages that are beautiful, but you can tell the picture needed a little work, needed to be lightened up a little bit. Also, when you save a Bible journaling page, just to share on the computer. You can take a picture photograph and make it web size, so much, much uh, less room on your computer. And when you, you know, you'll know when you start getting too many images, you have to, your computer slows way down. So this is another way that you can save space is by anything that you share, you make 72 dots per inch and then share on the internet. Then here, I went back to this page because I wanted to show you a lot of people really like the uh, distressed look. And these are some um, sand streaks and different things that you see a lot of these in Bible in art journaling. And I just wanted to put a few on the page to show you that you can have that art journaling look too by playing with the blend modes. And here's some paints and splatters. And um, I think when you change this blend mode, it turns blue. And just to give you an idea of some of the things you can do, because I know you've seen plenty of the art journaling pages on Pinterest or in our Facebook group. Oh, and then I decided to add at the last minute an anchor. This is not on my page. I didn't think about it. But that was a cute little reminder of the story, that there was a boat originally in this story. And just some more... Um, distressed images and then we'll put those down on another layer so they're behind the washi tape and behind the whale and then again there's an overlay 
This is just so much fun. There's so many different things you can do. This is just one look. For more information on Bible journaling digitally, join our Facebook group. You can ask questions, share your images, and get lots of Bible journal inspiration. Until we see you again, bye-bye.